Hi guys, okay, so we're back and in this video, I want to show you guys how to actually wire the Sonoff basic Wi-Fi smart switch to an extension cord since that's the easiest way um, to get this example going and um, to be able to control the Sonoff with your uh, Android phone or whatever uh, whatever phone that you have um, I think it supports iPhone as well and um, basically be able to control it from your phone so that's um, the start of of course creating the smart home that you may be interested in creating so first off we have this this is the sewn off box but this is the actual sewn off this is what it looks like and uh, of course we need to respect again um, the input and output what input is and what output is so i guess i should probably go that over i do actually have a video which kind of explains the unboxing and so forth that explains this but uh, we'll go through this so basically input is whatever powers you need 110 to 220 volts between that range to power the actual device and what i mean by power the actual device is being able to power this on so that this could connect to your Wi-Fi router and we'll get to that but in another step because right now all we need to do is to make sure that we wire this thing up properly so this is what this video will be to wire this uh, device up properly in order to be able to use it later on with your phone or your smart devices um, and so forth okay so input is power in output is what is going to output to your to whatever appliance or device that you want to power on and so basically this acts like a switch right basically you know this is it acts like a switch you press the switch on it comes on but basically you do that digitally all right so what you'll need what did i do okay so i i i, I use the thinnest the smallest screwdriver i could find that's flathead you need that to can to open out the screws you need a cutter to actually cut the wires and of course an extension cord and I just got this really cheap extension cord I think I paid like less than 20 TT which is about less to about 2 US 3 US yeah 3 US dollars all right so the first thing is of course we will take off all the packaging and we will get started So uh, we will be going in this direction because that will make more sense. So basically, we have this cord. This is of course obviously a dumb cord. You just plug in and you get power on the end. You should know that. Um, and so if I were to unravel this cord, there's two sides. And these are the two sides we're interested in. So this side which is the side that powers on, which plugs into the wall outlet that gives it power. This is the side that will go into your input. Okay, so this is what will happen. This piece, hope that you could see it there, will go into the input, while this piece, which is the part that will actually you plug in your device, will go to the output like this which makes sense and so when the current passes through the zone off it will power on this part right the plug it the plug itself so this is a pretty long it's about 12 feet and so we have some of course some warnings here the electrical cords are dangerous do not overload do not plug in etc and the first thing we need to do is to understand of course what this what this plug means because on the Sonoff there is um, one plug has one one line one power line one electrical line has to go in to neutral and the other one has to go into the live so we need to know which one is neutral and live here because obviously there are two different prongs if you want to call it and one is neutral and one is live usually the thicker one is neutral the thinner one is live which means that if you look at the N here and the L here, the N would be the thicker one, the L would be the thinner one, right? So that's that's what we need to make sure. Now, you can decide where you want to actually put the sun off in between, but at the end of the day, we need to cut this. We need to cut this and add it and, and basically add the sun off in between it. And that is what will cause it to be able to um, be activated from the phone, basically. All right? so. 
let's do that so here we go I wanted it more to the where the power where the power line is because I don't want it at the end here if it's at the end here it could get knocked up hit up and that kind of stuff so I'd rather it somewhere that it cannot be interfered with too much so I'm gonna put it somewhere here I could put it closer up, but I always leave a little bit of extra space because when you're cutting it you want to make sure that you have enough in case you make an error you wouldn't want to run out of line before you reach the plug right so all you know it, it, it's recommended I would recommend that you do it that way it's the easiest way it's up to you of course but that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna try to cut this thing open and um, of course be very very careful you know these these cutters are very very sharp this may not exactly be the the best way to cut a line especially since this line would have um, would have uh, copper um, which would make it a little bit dull but I didn't want to use a scissors because a scissors, you know sometimes you could damage the, the plastics in the scissors so I decided I'd use the cutter so we could go with that nice good thing it's glass all right so great so we cut this off and so we have the input part this would be the input part and we need to make sure of course that here we need to separate this we need to actually separate this part so we could just separate it. that's gonna be easy all right so doesn't it doesn't take much it takes about two or three millimeters inside here it only takes about two or three millimeters so you don't want too much and then and then um, there's the live part uh, hanging out because obviously that would be an electrical problem you could probably shock yourself and so forth so we don't want that all right so I did try to separate it apparently it didn't separate right yes good so it's separate here you could probably see it I hope that the camera could see all this that I'm doing here all right actually you could separate this part even further down um, but I won't necessarily do that because of um, because it doesn't really require me to do it to make it as snug and neat as possible we could do it just like that all right so the next thing we need to do is of course we need to make expose the actual copper wire so as I said about two or three millimeters just averaging here I'm gonna try to just take off the plastic layer so that we can all we can get is the is the copper area the, con the contact itself and that will make contact with the inside of of the sonoff itself so with a little bit of patience this is how I do it if you have a cable stripper that's even better I don't usually use the cable stripper I find I have enough uh, leverage using this so I just go in and once I feel a little bit of the copper I am um, I back off so in I so I don't really damage the cables in the process see All right, we could probably have cut that a little bit more but I think that would be fine it should be fine you could just double check that by pulling out a screw at this point we're just testing so it doesn't matter it's off everything is off make sure to have all power off when dealing with this device and dealing with 110 voltage make sure to line up in such a way that the thinnest side is on the L side so we just want to make sure that it's enough I'm just pushing it in I'm not going to I just want to make sure that it fits and it, it works properly that was about two millimeters so let's go like one more so. I just got the two pieces the way I wanted it so it's about as I say 3 cm and this is the part <coughs> excuse me that goes into and make sure it's lined up make sure it lines up as I said 
So this side is live and this side is neutral. And now we're going to try to get that in. As I said, sometimes it's a little bit tough, but it is possible. So you line that up and the camera will not be able to see that because it's so small. You need to line up that. You could put two at two in one at the same time, or you could, you know, do one at this at, at the same uh, at a time. I will try to get the first one in on the on the live side, and good. And so it yeah, it just pushed in. This I believe this seems to be very similar to the two point five wire as well in the terms of the thickness of the copper. And so you push it into the grooves. And as you push it into the grooves, make sure that, as I say, there's no metal hanging out from the groove because you, you don't want a situation where um, there could be a short of any sort because, you know, that will cause a lot of problems. So, um, so we tighten this. But remember also that when you tighten this part, always hold on to the wire because as you tighten, sometimes the wire comes out. So you want to make sure we tighten this. Now, this is the first mechanism in, in making sure that it is secure. It is not going to be fully secure after you tighten. And I'll explain why. Because you see, there's always a chance that you could tug this out. And so that's why Sonoff provided this, which, is the, which has the teeth to hold on to the actual, the actual cord itself. It's, it's a lot more durable and it protects it a lot better. It's not going to be absolutely perfect from an absolutely young because it's plastic, but it will do a fairly decent job at... So try to tighten as tight as you could and hold the cord because when you tighten, sometimes the cord wants to, will want to slip. Will want to slip back out, all right? So just gonna tighten a little more. It feels very awkward doing it, I have to tell you, but, but at the end of the day, you need to make sure it is secure. Right. Seems to be. Nice. Right, so it's fairly in, you can see that. But now we need to make sure to put the teeth in because this part is the very, very important part. Oh, and we need a Phillip head screwdriver for this part as well, so... Forgot the Phillip head screwdriver. Right, so we're back again, and... I got this Phillip head screwdriver, and we just screw it in. And usually you would hear a click. I haven't heard the click, so I have to double check and make sure it lines, it lines up properly. What I notice is when I tighten it enough, it actually flares out from the side here. So I think that means that I over tightened it, but I do it like that, you know, and you can choose how you want to do it. So that's so perfect because we now have one side with the live connected to the live and the neutral connected to the neutral. Now you would have, I came across the problem of having to figure out, well, which of these is it live now that I've cut it off because I didn't keep track of it and what I noticed is that the live usually in this case has the writing and the neutral didn't have any writing on its side so the good news is that for this it was quite easy to determine the writing means live and make sure by just double checking to make sure that when it goes it goes to the live side and of course the neutral side is the bigger 
bigger port all right so just make sure it lines up so we're going to do the same thing again for this one we're going to go with three um, millimeters off and then we're going to put it into this side and we should be good to go to show the next part again so we'll pause again for a little while all right guys so we're back again and uh, i've just finished taking out this taking out part and just exposing the copper wire again once more we need to unscrew and we need to make sure again that we line up line and we line up neutral according to what it needs to what it, what the corresponding parts okay so right that looks good so what we're gonna do i think we will try to tighten this one first so it doesn't slip out on tight there yep it's tight and good and so we're good to go there you have to be very very careful do not do not leave the teeth off Make sure it's tight and there you go that's how we create what's on off and so in the next part we will see if this thing powers on properly so I'll have to set up the camera and we'll have a look at it powering on properly